Hey there, Scratch friends. I've got a super cool holiday project for you. Get into Scratch and click Create. And name your project My Card or Holiday Card or something like that. Click on the cat. Right click and delete him because we won't be using him. And then click on the background. And click the backdrop. And let's make a rectangle using the vector mode. Make sure your tools are on the right. And then this will be our card rectangle. Once you click on it, I need you to fill it, pick a cool color, and that'll be the front of your card. We're going to do a flat card. There is a movie that'll show you how to make a three-dimensional card, but for now, let's just make the flat one. Switch to the scripts, and we're going to add a script for this card. The first script we're going to add is a when clicked. And when it's clicked, we want it to broadcast a message, and we're going to name that message show. So it's going to show items when we click the flag. And let's also make sure it shows backdrop 1. And I'm going to put that in between it. And I'm going to make sure I've got backdrop 1 selected. Let's add some amazing words with a sprite. Click on the paint new sprite. Once again, change to vector so you've got your tools on the right. Click the text box and type happy. Or something else if you want to do something besides happy. And then since it's a vector, you can click on it and stretch it. Make it so it looks like you want. Pick a color that's actually going to show up. So I'm going to switch to my paint tool. And I'm going to give it a pink. And then I can arrange it left and right where I want by going back to the select tool. And then on that same page, I'm also going to do the text for Thanksgiving. Click, thanks, giving. Once again, because it's vector, you can click, stretch, and adjust, and it still looks totally awesome. Let's configure this little fella's scripts quick. Uh, he needs to get when I receive, and when he receives the show button, he wants to show himself. We're going to use that again later, so grab it and drop it in so that you've got show added to your backpack. Let's go back to the stage and add the inside of our card. When you hit stage backdrop, select the backdrops and simply duplicate the backdrop you have and then fill it with a new color. Notice it's still on vector mode. I'm going to fill it with this fun little pink. Super quickly, I'm going to go back to Backdrop 1, and I'm going to add a button to change pages. I'm going to create my button with the Paint New Sprite tool. I am going to, once again, make a vector. I'm going to click on the rectangle, and I'm going to choose Fill. This makes me even faster. And I'm going to draw a small rectangle. I'm going to then move it to the bottom right-hand corner. And then I'm going to add some text on it where it says click to open. Need that to be a different color so it shows up. By clicking purple it was able to switch. If I click the arrows because it's vector text I can arrange it. If for some reason yours is behind the screen you can use the up and the down arrow to adjust it. If you're crazy like me and make a mistake, you can use the text tool to go back and edit it as well. So now I got rid of that silly semicolon. I'm going to switch to the select tool and I'm going to grab both pieces and that allows me to group them. And now I'm going to add the code for my click to open button. So I want to add an event that says when this sprite is clicked, I want to send a message called hide. I can do that with control. I'm sorry, events. I want to broadcast a message called hide because to go to the inside of the page, I want to hide all these other things. So I click the down arrow and make my new message hide. And then I also want to switch to the second page, which is our backdrop number two. So we simply drop it in and make sure we have our second backdrop set. So now if we hit stop and we hit start, when we click on open, 
Notice it moves to the other page, but the hide doesn't happen yet. Watch how easy it is to make the hide happen. Go back to your Happy Thanksgiving sprite, go to scripts, and we want to make a new one of these, so we're going to duplicate it, but this time it's when I receive hide, and instead of show, then he does hide. Stop, start, click to open, and it hides the words. Now we just need to fix the box so that it has that as well, or the button. So I'm clicking on Sprite 2. I'm going back to my scripts. There's my when hide, it hides. I'm also going to bring up when show, show. Stop, start. I've got my cool card clicked open, and now the inside is ready to build. Let's create words for the inside of our shape using the same technique. New sprite, switch to vector mode, add that groovy text, and in your text type something that you think is thanksgiving E. I'm going to type gobble gobble because it makes me smile. Click the select tool, stretch it, adjust it, make it as fancy as you want. Do whatever you desire with it. And then we can add its scripts. We're going to still bring up the when I receive, but this needs to be the opposite. So when the inside of the card gets the word show, it needs to hide itself. When it gets the word hide, then it needs to show itself. If we hit stop and start, test our card, now it says gobble gobble on the inside. I am going to get in the sounds and I'm going to pick a new sound. I want to grab a animal sound. And I'm going to grab the cool rooster because I think it's pretty nifty. And then with it selected, I'm going to say OK. And now because I did that, I can go to my scripts. And when it receives hide and it's going to show, I also want it under sound to play the sound rooster. You can see there's so much cool stuff you can do to make this more epic. Now is when you have fun and make it as cool as you can. Making sure when you're done, you hit save now. And if you like what you made, make sure you share that link with me as well. Thanks for following the movie. Have a great day.